welcome back to my channel. We are in Pennsylvania right now and I'm in the rental car and I want to go exploring today. We got here yesterday and we've been having so much fun. Everyone has been so nice here, but we went out to a restaurant yesterday and I'm turning this air off so hopefully you guys can hear me, but we went out to a restaurant yesterday and the server was giving us like all the fun things to do in Pennsylvania and she was asking like, what do you like to do? And I told her I love to go shopping, I love antiquing, I love thrifting, I love exploring. So she gave us a list of things to do. She told me the best home goods in Pennsylvania. So I'm in the parking lot right now. Um, she also gave me a couple other fun things to do. And then also yesterday when we were coming in, the homes here are just breathtaking in Pennsylvania, like so many beautiful homes. So I want to go exploring and I just like driving through different neighborhoods and just seeing beautiful homes. It's just one of my favorite things to do. So we're going to just be hanging out today. I want to take you guys shopping. Um, when I packed to come to Pennsylvania, I intentionally kept an empty carry on. So I have space to do some shopping. I can't get anything too large, but I thought I could get some inspiration because when I get back home to Charleston, I really want to start my vegetable garden. I'm getting started really late, I know, because typically with the zone that I'm in, I should have started, I think March 15th was the start date, but we had some pre-planned obligations. And the one thing about gardening is it has to be watered. It has to be tended to, especially in the early phases so I didn't want to start and then go out of town so that's why we're getting started later this year so I just want to get some inspiration I want to look at some like um, pots for plants and just get some inspiration so when I get back to Charleston I'll know exactly what I need to buy and then anything that I can purchase that I like today that can fit in a carry-on we'll get so anyway I want to go pop into this home goods because the server yesterday at the restaurant we ate at says it is her favorite location so we have to go check it out so let's head in it's such a beautiful day out here it's like 70 and breezy Immediately coming into Home Goods, I saw exactly what I was looking for. Some gorgeous planters. I loved these wicker ones. They were $39.99 and they had quite a bit. I also love these water crafts. They are just perfect to keep on a nightstand and fill them with water. So when you get thirsty, you have a beverage to drink. I loved all of the bright colored glassware and especially these little teapots were so cute. I have been loving little tea sets. I always see them at the thrift store and it was really fun to see such a large selection at Home Goods. And I loved these plates. They were like an organic, like greenish gray color. Loved them. How cute is this bowl? It'd be perfect to put on your counter if like fruit in it. And every aisle I would go down, I would see some planters. So Home Goods had so many to pick from. If you need a new wreath, pop in here. So many beautiful options, so many beautiful things that you can add to your outdoor space or garden. So I definitely will be coming back here. And these terracotta pots were absolutely gorgeous. Home Goods had an amazing selection of florals. These would be so beautiful to really add to any vase throughout your home to make it feel like spring. And I love this wicker planter as well.
So many beautiful vases, and I love this coffee table book, Blooms and Dreams. Had so much garden inspiration. Thought about getting it, and now that I'm seeing it again, I should have gotten it. I would love to add some of these flowers to my garden. Just so much amazing inspiration. I love looking at all of the coffee table books that Home Goods has. You can find some really good ones to fit your space, and I thought this tray was gorgeous. I actually saw one just like that in a model home, and so many beautiful ginger jars if those are your style. There were so many outdoor patio sets to pick from. I also love these little wicker bar sets. They'd be perfect for entertaining some little fiddle leaf trees and tons of outdoor cushions if you need to replace them. I love coming to Home Goods for their pillows. So much like color options you can pick from. I loved these full length mirrors, the beaded one, and then also the gold one was beautiful. And these scallop lamps were gorgeous. I loved the gold detail on them. They had so many options on clearance, like this super large mirror. I don't know where it would go, but it was so big and so many pillows, depending on what color you were looking for. It was here at Home Goods. I loved this pink like floral one. I thought they were perfect for the spring season. One of my favorite things to buy at Home Goods is their serving and cutting boards. They always have such a beautiful selection. You can make a cheese board on these, a taco board, and then they also had some amazing cutting board options. I got my super large wood cutting block that I keep in my kitchen from Home Goods, and they just have really good prices on it. So uh, pop in here if you need one. I couldn't believe the outdoor entertaining wear. Everything looked like glass, but can you guys believe this was plastic? All of these items I'm sharing with you are plastic and they did not look like it. And the wicker baskets would be so cute for outdoor dining. And I love these little wicker trays, so cute. Goods was beautiful. So much amazing things. And those little scalloped like wicker planters, that is exactly what I'm looking for, you guys. So I'm going to hope that I can find that in Charleston because I would love to add that either to like our Lanai area or our front door. I had to come back to the car to get my phone because I left it in here, but there's a Marshalls right next door. So let's pop in and see what they have. Okay, we're back in the car. Marshalls didn't really have a ton. They had a ton of clothes. And then I did get a dress. It's like a really beautiful, like maxi dress. So I got that and that was it. So I wanna go see if we can find like a thrift store, antique store situation, cause it's like my favorite thing to do. So I'm gonna put something in my GPS and see what we're near. This antique store in Pennsylvania had amazing reviews and it was saying that people would travel here from all around the world and I see why. It had over 150 vendors and you guys, there was so much to look at. I spent so much time in here and there was so much I wanted to bring back with me, um, but just not enough space in my luggage to bring back the things that I wanted. But just look at all of these gorgeous pieces and I feel like their prices were really priced fair. So much good kitchen items, decorative items, really unique things that you wouldn't be able to find just anywhere. And that's why I love antique stores.
My favorite part of antiquing is looking at the vintage glassware, dinnerware items. Those are my favorite, like these beautiful salt and pepper grinders. The detail to those were so unique. So many vessels and water jugs. And look at this entire room filled of vintage clocks. I loved this large pot. I thought an olive tree coming out of it would be perfect. It was so gorgeous and massive, and I thought that was a good price for how big it was. I love these little canisters, and you guys, these vintage Pyrex. I definitely wanna get a vintage Pyrex set, either some mixing bowls or serving ware. That's just something that you would have forever that I would never donate, but I love that this antique store had so much vintage glassware and Pyrex items, like all different colors. Loved this little buffet, all of the details to it. And look at this Pyrex, brand new in the box. It is vintage. I've always wondered how it came back in the day. I just love these Pyrex vintage sets. Gorgeous. I definitely would love to have an entire cabinet filled of like vintage Pyrex. That would be so fun. And then we were starving. We went to Mama Nina's, which is a very popular Italian restaurant in Pennsylvania. And we had some garlic butter um, knots and they were delicious. And then I got a seafood pasta, which was a 10 out of 10. And then we went driving through all of the gorgeous, beautiful neighborhoods in Pennsylvania. The landscaping, you guys, was just so beautiful. I loved looking at all of the homes. And then we went to the Malcolm Gross Rose Garden and the roses were supposed to be in full bloom late April, but looks like they got a little bit of a late start this year. They had a longer frost than expected, so that's probably why the roses weren't bloomed. But the park was absolutely gorgeous. So many people were outside just walking. The weather was amazing. So we just walked about two miles and enjoyed all of the beautiful scenery. for spending the time with me here in Pennsylvania. I have had so much fun taking you guys all around. I can't wait to get back home because I am so inspired to start my garden after like going to Home Goods and seeing all of like the planter boxes and all of like the gardening stuff. I just can't wait to start gardening. So there's gonna be some gardening content coming soon. I have so much to pick up and so much to plan and so many things to do, but get excited for that. And the next time I see you guys, I'll be back in South Carolina. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.